Hey right, guys, doing an update here on the Lionel train. Um, a few fellas on a different uh, sites that I've been on. I've been asking a few questions about this. Uh, just to refresh, this is an 8203 Penn Star locomotive, and um, it's from the 1972 um, set number 1183. It was called the Silver Star. All right. Um, watch my previous videos. You've seen it had a lot of problems with it getting traction. Pulling uh, more than three cars, it was uh, really struggling. Two things I did that uh, were uh, key. Okay, I bought the um, the um, traction tires. Okay, and the first thing I did was very foolish. I put traction tires on all four wheels. Well, obviously that was stupid. I realized quickly because it has to make the uh, the ground negative contact onto the track on one of the wheels. So, um, then I went to just the two back wheels, which are the traction wheels, and that didn't work well either. Um, I was getting, uh, uh, intermittent, um, traction. So then I decided to just go with one, on this left side, facing the, the, the engine from the front, the left side. Now, I noticed that the other wheels are different than this one wheel, because it has a tiny little lip. And um, so I believe that perhaps that one wheel is the only one that should have a traction tire. I'm not sure about that. Maybe someone watching this can confirm that. But at any rate, I decided to attempt to do that one wheel with the traction tire. And the other thing I did besides cleaning the track is I put a second um, a second wire hookup, okay, lock on, they call them, I believe. Um, it's Lionel CTC lock-on. I put a second one. There's one on this side by the transformer over here. Okay, it's only four inches away from the transformer. I put a second one on the other side of the track, opposite it. And what that does for me is, even though it's a very, very short track, my track is in very poor shape. And um, all of my pins are not exactly closing 100%. I got to get, uh, get them all closed. I got to basically re dismantle this track and uh, get it um, connected all the right way, making all the good connections. But in the meantime, that other lock-on being on the other side of the track gave me full power all the way around with no um, no skipping out on the power. Okay? And, um, and the other thing, uh, the third thing was, you see this little tab I got here? A little red tab. What was happening was these front steering wheel, uh, uh, wheels, okay, they were really sagging down, and they were, um, they were just not making good spring contact, especially around the turns, so you see how I'm springing this up and down like this, okay, what I did was I pulled up on that rivet, and I put this little tab, basically just, it's just a, uh, it's a twist tie, put it on there, and I put a little pressure on it, that gave me a little spring in it, and, uh, that helped a lot with it not, uh, going off the track. So those three things, um, all put together, have um, greatly uh, improved uh, my situation, as you will uh, see very shortly. I'm just going to test the fold in reverse here. Yeah. Not so much, <laughs> but uh, forward and reverse are working great. Okay, let's hook up and pull. Pulling seven cars. 
Total of seven calls. So I'd say she's, uh, she's been improved quite a bit. Welcome, Dan Oak.